Oh, hey, Grade Nines, how you doing? I'm just watching the sun go by for a bit. And I know you've probably been told that it's not really a good idea to look at the sun, uh, but with a pair of these, it's actually perfectly safe. Um, these, are, these allow me to uh, watch eclipses or just watch the sun go by on a bright sunny day, uh, which unfortunately today is not. It's too cloudy and I really am not looking at anything right now. Um, but I did want to talk to you about safe viewing of the sun. Uh, most of you have probably been told at some point don't look directly at the sun, you'll burn your eyes out. And you will do some serious damage to your retina. Uh, so how is it that we're able to observe the sun safely using optical instruments? Well, the, the first way that we can do that is we can protect our optical instruments by placing on a filter in front of the sun. Now this isn't actually a sun filter, it's just the lens cover. So right now no light at all is getting into my telescope, but it works exactly the same way. This would block out almost all the light entirely, except for just the tiny little bit that gets through, the same as these. And these look probably pretty black to you right now. There's not really a whole lot of light getting through. What you're seeing there is a little reflection from the sun. Um, but if we were able to, to place a filter on the front here, what that would do is minimize the amount of light that's coming into the telescope uh, so it doesn't uh, hit the, the mirror with too much light intensity um, because you could just imagine if you've ever fried ants on the sidewalk with a magnifying glass, that's essentially what you're doing by taking all that light from the sun, pumping it up here and then shooting it out the tiny little eyepiece. So you've taken this much light uh, remember our water demonstration, we took all that light, all that concentrated it into that tiny little space. Um, so if it's dangerous to look up at the sun uh, with the naked eye, you can imagine how intense it would be looking through a telescope. And you've probably heard the, the myths that Galileo went blind looking at the sun. That's not actually true. Uh, he did go blind later in life, but that was due to cataracts and glaucoma. Um, and really, just in the last couple of years of his life, he did a lot of safe observing of the sun. And I'm going to explain how he did that. So method number one would be covering the telescope. And what that does, again, is protects the telescope as well as your eyes. If I were just to look at the sun through my telescope with my safe sun viewing goggles on, first of all, these are not safe enough for the now magnified intense version of that light coming out. Um, but also, my telescope's not protected. And all that, he all that extra heat, as it hits that, fo that uh, eyepiece mirror up here, the, the secondary mirror, what that's going to do is it's going to melt the glue that's holding that mirror in place. And my, my optical elements are going to slide around. Uh, so that's definitely not a good idea. What Galileo was able to do with his telescope is he was able to, because it was a, ref a refracting telescope, he was able to take the light that was coming into his telescope, the light that was supposed to come out of his eyepiece, and instead of putting his eye there, he put a piece of paper there. And by putting a piece of paper there, he was able to project an image of the sun onto that piece of paper. And we can do the same thing just with a, a pinhole camera if you wanted to, to be able to observe the sun. Uh, so you can take a pinhole camera. You can magnify that image. Again, be very careful if you're magnifying the image because essentially you're now creating a magnified heat source. Um, but if you, if you do want to do that, uh, I've done it with binoculars in order to view the eclipse a few years ago. Uh, just don't take an optical device that you're really attached to that's a really high quality device because inevitably you're probably going to do some damage with the extra heat to the glue and the materials that hold that device together. So that's a little bit about how you can safely watch the sun uh, and I'm just going to stand here and wait for the clouds to go by so I can see some sunspots. I'm just kidding. You can't see sunspots unless you use a telescope. So I'm just going to stand here and wait for the solar filter that I ordered through Amazon to come in.